Hey love, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a long overdue video. This is going to be my confessions of a beauty guru tag and yeah I was tagged to do this a way while back and also one of my friends Christine also known as Twilight Chick 143 she also mentioned me in her video and I meant to do this so long ago but I've just been so busy and you guys know that I've just been in and out of being able to film regularly so since I'm trying to get back into having my videos come up on a regular schedule for you guys, I decided to finally film this tag video for you today. Without any further ado, I have all the questions in my little I Heart Mustaches YouTube notebook that I use to put all my ideas for new videos for you guys. So I'm going to be looking in here to see what the next question is, but let's go ahead and get started. Question number one, how many hours a week do you spend filming and editing videos? So I spend about eight hours, four hours on the weekend when I'm actually sitting down and filming and I spend about two days a week for um, two hours to edit each video. Cause on the weekends I um, spend about four hours filming two different videos and then on like Monday night and Wednesday night, I'm usually spending two hours that night editing those videos to um, complete it for everything. Number two, are you a spender or a saver? I am definitely a saver. I do love shopping, but I was an economics major and I've always been really good about managing my money. So I am definitely a saver. Number three, when is it easiest for you to film? In the morning on the weekends is ideally the best time for me to film. I have a full-time job, so I work um, five days a week for 40 hours, so I don't really have time during the week to actually film. So on the weekends in the early morning is just the best time for me to film. Number four, what makes talking in front of a camera comfortable for you? So definitely time. When I haven't been able to sit down and film videos in a while, it always takes a little bit of time for me to kind of calm down and just be comfortable again speaking. Even though I'm alone and I'm just talking to my camera, um, I always get tongue tied and it's hard for me to pronounce certain words and I always have to stop and just kind of relax because this is just a fun uh, relaxing thing that I like to do but I get too excited about it as well so um, it just takes a little bit of time for me to calm down and especially if I haven't been filming in a while. Number five, what's your worst makeup or hair habit? So my worst habit is definitely touching my eyelashes. Right now I'm wearing false lashes so I'm not really touching them but on a normal basis when I'm just wearing mascara I tend to touch it to like, um, I have contacts and whenever I feel like I'm afraid my mascara is gonna flake off and get into my contacts or anything like that, I'm always like kind of playing with my lashes and I'm sure that's not good for them, especially I have pretty short and kind of sparse lashes. I am Filipino and we are generally hairless, but I play with my eyelashes probably a little bit too much and I probably shouldn't be messing with them, but that is definitely my like worst habit. I kind of like touch my lashes and I kind of like almost take off my mascara with my fingers. It's just weird. Number six, what's one quote that you wish the world would live by? Um, the quote would definitely be, don't worry, be happy. That is actually the motto that my own grandma lives by. And I think everyone should strive to be as happy as they can and always to follow their dreams and just only pursue things that will make you happy. All the worries and strife and all the other stuff going on, um, just try to set that aside and try not to stress out and worry about it so much. I think life is so precious and there's so many things in life that there is to smile and be happy about. So definitely just don't worry and be happy. Question number seven, how long do you spend getting ready every day? So on a daily basis, I don't do a full face of makeup. So it generally only takes me about like 15 minutes. I've generally just washed my face and then I put on a little bit of mascara, maybe some eyeliner and then a tinted lip balm and I am good to go. But um, if I am going out to a party or if I'm sitting down to film, it generally takes me about two hours, especially, well, right now, right now I have my natural hair today, but it takes me an hour to um, do my hair the way when I blow dry it and then I take a curling iron and curl it. And it takes me another hour to do my whole skin regimen and then put on a full face of makeup. So 15 minutes for every day and then two hours if I have to get completely done up. 
Number eight, what is your favorite video on YouTube? So definitely this would be by Kyle um, Hanagami and Miki Imura, and they are dancing to the song Rolling in the Deep by Adele. I love that video. If you guys know, I am a dancer and I am so in love with dance. All different types of dance I'm just in love with, and I love watching dancing videos on YouTube. I originally wanted to start a dancing channel, but my channel just basically transformed and the beauty and fashion videos ended up coming out more than me being able to dance in front of my camera. So I am still a lover of dance and I love watching dance videos. So definitely um, that video, if you guys haven't seen it before, I will link it and you guys should definitely check it out. It is just so beautiful and I love the way they interpret the song with their movements. It is just so powerful and it's just such a great video to watch. Number nine, who is a YouTuber that you watch who deserves more views and subscribers than they have? So that would definitely be my friend Angelica or About Something Pretty. She has amazing videos and she is so gorgeous and everything that she puts up is really great and I love watching all of her videos and she definitely deserves way more subscribers than she has. Number 10, what's one thing you're excited about in the upcoming year? So the year is already halfway over so there's not too much left and we're already halfway through summer, but I guess the only thing that I can think of is me and my sister just planned a trip down to Disneyland. Um, so that will be happening in the middle of September. So I am definitely excited about seeing Disneyland again. I um, do have an annual pass there, so I try to go there many times during the year, but I'm really excited about that. Number 11, what is your most awkward filming moment? So definitely whenever I lose my train of thought or I fumble over my words, you guys don't see that that often because I end up editing it out, but maybe one day I will compile all of my bloopers together and show you guys how much I fumble over my own words and how often I'll lose my train of thought and I'm just sitting there like, what was I gonna say? Number 12, how long does it take you to prep for a video? So it takes me about two hours to prep um, doing my own hair and makeup as well as just getting all my products together if I'm going to be talking about products or um, getting everything together if I'm gonna be doing a tutorial or anything like that. Um, it takes around two hours for me to prep and set everything up before filming. Number 13, are you wearing pants right now or are you actually wearing pajama bottoms? I am actually wearing running shorts right now because I uh, ran earlier and I didn't really want to change and my shorts are actually extremely comfortable. So yes, I'm not wearing pajama bottoms, but I'm not not wearing pants, I'm wearing running shorts. And lastly, number 14, what are you most proud of in your life? And definitely what I'm most proud of is earning my degree in economics from the University of California, Merced. I am a college graduate and I am very proud of that. Um, education has always been something that was really important to me and finishing school was definitely something that I wanted to do. And when I walked across that stage and I got my diploma and I moved my tassel from right to left, it was just such an amazing experience and I'm so grateful and happy that I finished my school and I actually have a bachelor's degree. So that is definitely what I'm most excited about.